Okay, fine. So till here. So what we have to do here now? Okay, what is the first? We'll go for time taken. So time taken by to reach to move from A to B. So that will be the time of flight. At t equals zero, it was projected. After some time t, it will be available here. Then the displacement perpendicular to incline must be zero. I'm directly write some set of equations. Displacement perpendicular to incline must be zero. S perpendicular, U perpendicular, T minus G perpendicular, T square. G perpendicular is so here along perpendicular to incline. This will be a perpendicular. This will be parallel. This will be perpendicular. Hope I think this was the convention is what we applied. No, based on that. Now this should be zero. <coughs> what is u perpendicular? U sine theta minus alpha t. We don't know. G will be g cos alpha by two t square. So t equal to keep it equation one like this. Now directly let's go to the range. Now what is the range? The range is is equal to A B that should be equal to U cos or U parallel T plus T minus G parallel T square by two. This is G perpendicular. This is G parallel. So let's substitute here. So let me call range as R. So I think this will be very lengthy. Then we will write it. U cos of theta minus alpha, two U sine theta minus alpha by G cos alpha, G parallel, G sine alpha by two, two U sine theta minus alpha by G cos alpha, I'm asking the range value, maximum range R, the R max has to be determined. Okay, no. So till here, I think. So let me do one thing. U square, U square will come. U square by. Uh, G cos square alpha. Let me take outside. Then this will become two sine Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Vina Hagrid, <laughs> uh, two sine, two sine theta minus alpha cos of theta minus alpha cos alpha minus this will become one one two will be there, two sine alpha sine square theta minus alpha. I, I took uh, G cos square, U square, U square is available here, U square is available here, G and G square. So denominator one G is there, then, then here cos square alpha is there, here I have only cos alpha, so I'll divide and multiply this by cos alpha, so that I can take cos square alpha, U square by G cos square alpha, I'll take common, then I'll end up with 2U sin theta minus alpha, cos theta minus alpha, here one cos alpha will be there, then this will be to sine alpha, sine square theta minus alpha. Yeah, so some, some equation we have. This will rewrite u square by g cos square alpha. Uh, sine is, two sine is cos b formula. So this will be sine of
टू थीटा माइनस अल्फा सो दिस विल बी टू साइन अल्फा साइन स्क्वायर थीटा वन माइनस कॉस टू थीटा बाई टू वन माइनस कॉस Let's go for further expansion. U square two of this one theta minus alpha by cos alpha. And this will be sine alpha will be there. Plus uh, two will get cancelled out, so sine alpha. Cos of two theta minus alpha. You you see some. Now let me rearrange. The so same same step. I'll, I'll rearrange terms. Let, let me just highlight. <coughs> Anything you see that sine A cos B, cos A sine B. I think that this we will write it in sine A plus. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. yes. so i think i think i can i can simplify this whole part with one simple formula r is equal to sin a cos b cos a sin b sin of plus alpha minus sin alpha Two theta minus two alpha. So two theta minus alpha minus of sine alpha. So this equation will become u square g cos square alpha Minus two alpha plus alpha will be minus alpha. Okay, I ended up this one. Now, what are the conditions? Now we have to search for condition for to be maxima. See, al alpha is a fixed no. Alpha is a fixed here. Alpha is a fixed value. Somewhere you write it clearly. So we are not going to disturb alpha. To have maximum range is theta is what I am going to vary. Alpha is a fixed value. It's better say constant. We are not going to. It's a constant. So what is here? To have maximum range, what we are going to do is then like for a, maximum range, it should depend on alpha, no sir. Because two theta minus alpha is zero. Let me you listen for me, no. Let me uh, talk something. Huh? Okay, now the alpha is a fixed here. Can you change uh, the inclination of a ill? can you go change in your home steps are there can you change inclination of steps not possible no this is something stupidity of saying alpha varying okay i didn't say alpha is varying sir i i am that's why i am telling listen to me first but inclination of steps and inclination of hills may not be same no sir that time theta will change that's what i am saying no alpha is a constant theta variable yes sir Listen for teacher first. No, you can see happily. You can at the end of the topic, you can really come in nothing wrong. But in between, don't come and confuse others also. Are you getting no? 
it's not individual class it's a group class so any idea is there at the end you can clarify it what is there no alpha must be constant so something alpha varying i think it's a some sort of stupidity here nothing is there so only theta theta is there. by varying theta i can adjust for maximum range then uh, alpha is a constant alpha is a constant and the speed with which projecting this this also you there is a fixed value so what everything is only the theta is variable now this r will be maximum only when when this quantity should be maximum i just say that this r is dependent on it i'll slide up i'll, I'll okay just I'll, i in the end I'll, I'll show a complete picture let me go for the derivation part so this will be r is equal to no so definitely uh, I'll, i'll just highlight it these two are what the dependent has as you vary theta for one specific angle of the, this theta as the range will be maximum because alpha is a fixed value then the range will be maximum when this quantity is maximum so the conditions is what we are going to bring r will be maximum when sin 2 theta sin of 2 theta minus alpha is equal to plus 1 for sin of 2 theta minus alpha equal to plus 1 so 2 theta minus alpha should be equal to pi by 2 so what is the required angle theta equal to alpha by 2 plus pi by 4 if the angle of projection is this much then the range is going to be maximum okay let me substitute the value r max is equal to uh, i don't have a place in the end i'll conclude here r max is equal to Uh, this will be u square g cos square alpha one minus sine alpha. One minus alpha sine alpha can we write anything? Or cos square alpha can I write it as uh, one minus sine square alpha? One minus sine alpha, one minus cos alpha. I can write it as one minus cos alpha plus one plus cos alpha. Sir, one minus sine square alpha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This one. Sine square alpha. This will become u square by g. Okay. This is the maximum range. maximum range on an inclined plane i think i can show complete ah. okay any, any anything you can you can clarify now Write it down. We'll take the next one.
completed. I'll, I'll go for next one. Okay, ma. Yeah, yeah. Still writing. Sir, I didn't understand it, sir. Could you explain once again? What is this? Yes, sir. Yeah, somebody is saying something. Sir, I did not understand, sir. Could you explain me once again? Nothing is that. See, you have to put effort. Uh, for one student, again, we cannot teach everything. Recording will be there. Make it observation. Okay, sir. Hmm? Yeah, that, that's what you have to do. We can't just... Uh, sir, one problem we cannot repeat two or three times not possible please do understand we have a recording itself so you make observation again it's better no just only mathematics trigonometry nothing is there you have to follow that steps one by one so i have only physics part only these things sir. the expression for range so the yeah, yeah the expression for time of flight, then expression for range we are writing, then this value of t is what I put it. Okay, for your convenience, I'll write it. Equation two, put one in two. From there is what? We have brought the next set of equations. No problem, afterwards, after class, you can put effort, make, make a observation of the video and start thinking, take notes, how this step has come from there, you're done like.